All right. Good evening and welcome. This is Kurt Christensen, and it's I guess it's good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you're coming with this, uh, joining with us today on the webinar. This is the ETF Tipping Point Trading System, and why are we here? Well, let's do a quick sound and video check. Everyone should be seeing my screen and seeing the first slide that says how I discovered a simple ETF timing system. Uh, now, within a few seconds, you might get a poll pop up on your screen. Please go ahead and answer that. And uh, let's make sure I can draw on the screen okay. Everyone can see me drawing on the screen. And everyone can hear me okay. All right. Well, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, can everyone tell us where you're attending this webinar from? You'll see a place to reply somewhere on the screen there in your webinar control panel. Uh, I'm in Spokane, Washington, the United States, so in the great Pacific Northwest. Where's everyone else uh, joining with us tonight? Uh, we've got Rochester, New York, Ottawa, Canada, San Antonio, Virginia, UK, uh, Utah, Carlsbad, California, Florida, Southern California, San Francisco, uh, Butte, Medford, Mount Vernon, New York, Burbank, uh, Philadelphia, fabulous, London, awesome. All right, well, there's a gazillion others that scrolled past on there as well, but... Uh, <laughs> Too fast to read. We've got a, we've got a packed house. Well, thanks everyone for responding. So as we're going through the presentation, we will have time for questions. We're not necessarily going to take them in the order uh, that, that that they're given. Uh, most of the questions will be answered during the presentation, but we're going to have uh, lots of time to answer questions in certain specified spots, and we have frequently asked questions and all that kind of stuff built into the presentation. So a lot of times we will get duplicate questions, in which case, of course, is normal. So if we don't read and answer your question exactly word for word. It's probably because we answer someone else's very similar question on the same topic. So with that, let's go ahead and dig in. The usual legal stuff that our attorneys make us say, and that's quite simply, the financial markets are risky, investing is risky, past performance does not indicate, does not guarantee future performance. That, that's all very important. The foregoing has been been prepared solely for informational and educational purposes as not a solicitation or offer to buy or sell any security. So let's get right down to it. This is exactly what we're going to be talking about tonight. We're going to be talking about how to get into trades just like these on such famous ETFs as the DIA, you can see right there, the SPY that you can see right there, the Qs, the KBE, OIH, now they're getting a little less famous, of course. OIH is the oil services sector. GLD is a big one, very famous, semiconductors, real estate, and materials. Now, the important thing, uh, the important takeaway is, you know, look at the returns over here. These are really the returns or losses. Uh, green is, uh, you know, positive trade. It's currently open. And red is a negative trade, currently open. And it shows you, you know, the percentage uh, gain, uh, loss or gain on those exact trades. That's what we're going to be covering tonight, exactly how we put on these trades, how we formulate these trades, and why this all matters uh, for you as a trader. And to put it in a, just a more visual perspective, if you have traded the Qs, the NASDAQ tech index, the QQQ, uh, over the last year, let's say that you you just did the normal investor uh, sentiment, which is, hey, we just got to buy and hold and uh, we got to hold forever. Well, if you would have entered that market back here at that price, look what's happened to this entire year. If I draw the line across there, you'd be basically at break even or slight loss or slight gain. However, if you'd follow the ETF tipping point system, which is what we're going to be talking about tonight, you would have made a 1% gain there, a 3% gain there, a 16% gain there. Notice that's on a bear move right there. Another 20% gain there, and then still we still got an open trade there. So which would you prefer? 0% gain after a year or potentially a 1% plus 3% plus 16% plus 20%. If you add those up, that's about a 40% gain in the year. You know, So you tell me. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. And everything we, we cover tonight is backed by, you know, bulletproof proof. You know, we're going to offer you brokerage statement proof. Uh, using this, these exact signals, um, we allocated last year $10,000 in each sector of real money. So, you know, so I said, said $90,000 in my capital. And we've followed these exact trades in a TD Ameritrade brokerage account, we've turned that $90,000 into $112,000 roughly in about eight months or about 24% gain or 3% a month. And we're gonna cover exactly how we do that. 
So the big questions and problems answered today. Number one, is it really possible to beat the market in 15 minutes a week? I'm going to tell you the answer is yes. Number two, do I need to be an options genius or have seven math degrees to figure this out? I'm going to tell you the answer is no. Number three, why does everyone teach buy, hold, and pray? And what's the fatal flaw in that approach? Number four, do I have to become a day trader or pick hot stocks to be able to, to make money in the market? Number five, why only buying long, that's for the market to go up, is delusional thinking. Number six, why in simple terms is compounding so crucial to my success as a trader? And number seven, what's the 50 slash 100 rule and why does it matter? Well, by now you may say, slow down, Kurt, what's an ETF and why the heck should I care? Well, quite simply, a basic ETF is a fund that tracks an index like the NASDAQ 100, the S&P 500, or the Dow Jones. It's designed to exactly mimic that underlying index without a lot of changing what's in that, in that basket. They don't try to beat the market. They try to be the market. So there's no management fee. It's not like a mutual fund. Uh, price fluctuates just as the underlying basket of goods does. So as an example, if we look at the Dow Jones 30 stocks, they are represented by an ETF with DIA as the ticker symbol. So if I type in, if I want to see what the Dow Jones Industrial Average looks like on my trading platform, it's dollar sign DGI. And you can see the ups and downs, the peaks and valleys of the, of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This is on a daily basis. Now, look at, now remember where these, these, this valley is, remember where this peak is and this peak is. What if I were to, to track the price movement of the DIA, which is the ETF that is designed to exactly mimic this, this index? Well, here's what it looked like. This is, this is the DIA. And on the DIA, you'll notice, you get exactly that same, that, that, that same uh, curve, right? You got that valley there, you got those two peaks there. Well, that's great. That's what ETFs are for. So why ETFs? Why would you, we use ETFs as opposed to mutual funds, stocks, options, futures, or any of the other gazillion uh, things you have uh, available to trade? Well, quite simply, ETFs allow you to do it all. It allows you to have a massively diversified portfolio with the simplicity of trading a single stock. ETFs have lower expenses than mutual funds. ETF expense ratios and other built-in financial costs are consistently lower versus actively managed mutual funds. You've got tax efficiency. They're renowned for their low portfolio turnover, which generally translates into infrequent tax uh, distributions. You've got financial flexibility. ETFs offer intraday liquidity in almost any category of the market or any type of market you want to get into, which means they can be also be bought or sold when the financial markets are open. You got consistent market performance. ETFs are linked to any major market index, and they routinely outperform most of Wall Street's actively managed funds. Right, and then you've got the mass appeal. Whether you're a short-term investor looking to hedge or a long-term investor that wants to diversify, ETFs are a powerful investment tool for all types of investors. And they're not going away. Uh, this is a little bit dated now, but as of 2016, there was over 6,468 different ETFs that had launched. And over one, excuse me, 10 trillion assets uh, are predicted to be in ETFs by 2020. So why should you listen to me? That's me, Kurt Christensen. Uh, you know, I'm nobody special. Uh, my investing goals are pretty simple. I want to have way above market returns. I want it to be mechanical and emotionless, right? All these are non-negotiable. Way above market returns, mechanical and emotionless, lots of compounding, and I needed to take less than 15 minutes a week. I believe in living my life and doing things that I want to do on my time frame. You know, financial freedom to me means doing the things I want to do in the time I want to do them with the people I want to do them with. And we'll talk about that more as we get through this presentation. But my investing goals are pretty simple. So who's with me? Who has similar investing goals? Way above market returns, mechanical and emotionless, lots of compounding, and less than 15 minutes a week. Go ahead and type in the questions box if that's something that you're interested in. That's what you're looking for. We're trying to weed out people who want to get into day trading or people who want to be chained to their computer or people who want something super complicated and super sophisticated that requires, you know, a, a PhD to under, understand. That's just not us. Here's what a trading system is. Here's what we're looking for. So now that you kind of know your ideas and what you're what you're all about. Well, what is a trading system? A trading system, quite simply, is number one, when to enter. Number two, when to exit. Right. Everybody concentrates on when to enter. 
but frankly, when to exit is just as important. And even probably critically more important, and we should, we should have reversed these, how much money do we put into each trade? And then the last thing, how much money uh, should we risk in uh, potential loss? How much should we risk on each trade? How much should we set up that we're, uh, that we're ready and, 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 and able to lose without uh, causing us you know, emotional turmoil or without you know, jeopardizing our trading account? Well, here's, here's my simple tip what takeaway for you. If you get nothing else out, else out of tonight's presentation, only trade objective, quantifiable, emotionless systems. And why is that so important? Well, it's so important so you don't rip yourself apart mentally and emotionally in the anguish over a losing trade. The shoulda, woulda, coulda uh, types of trades. You know, oh, well, you're, I was looking for the triple bottom formation instead of the double bottom formation. Um, I, any of those subjective things that, uh, that, you know, we re re require someone to, uh, th that you can't come up the same result that they did, uh, steer clear. We want to trade something that's objective, gives you exact trade signals on exact dates based on exact methodology. And, you know, the methodology is disclosed. So here's some proof, evidence, and facts. You know, we're not some Johnny come lately. This is not some vague concept. Uh, this isn't based on chart patterns, you know, head and shoulders or things like that or, or candlesticks. We've de de delivered over 624 real-time trades since 2007. So we're going to show you some of our recent closed trades. So on the Dow Jones, and these are a little bit dated or as of uh, the end of the end of this last year, here's what would have happened if you would have put $10,000 into each of our Dow Jones signals trading simply uh, long and short on the Dow Jones. With compounding, you would have turned $10,000 into nearly $450,000. Uh, and here's some examples of where those trades were placed. You know, short, long, short, long, short. With about a 97% accuracy, as in 97% of the trades turned out to be profitable. On the S&P 500, we would have turned $10,000 into nearly $450,000. Now, these, these that we're showing here are hypothetical trades that were generated with the benefit of backtesting. We've been trading the system live since 2011. However, we've gone through multiple iterations. And this current iteration, obviously we can't go back in time, so we, we're showing you exactly how the trades would have performed uh, at that point in time. Obviously, uh, we're showing you live brokerage statement proof since we've gone live with this version of the software and showing you exactly how it works and uh, the real life, you know, indisputable facts. So here's the S&P 500. Uh, if we would have put $10,000 into it back in 2006, it would have turned into nearly $450,000 as to today, about 13 years later. And here's some example trades on S&P 500 spots where we've gone long and short. Same thing, the S&P 500 would have been about 96% accurate. The NASDAQ, we would have turned $10,000 into over 1 million. This is one of our best sectors. Uh, it trades quite frequently, short, long, short, long, about 97% accurate on the NASDAQ. Banking, uh, kind of a lesser known sector, but uh, we turned $10,000 into over 3.5 million on banking. Lots of trades on banking, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, right? You can see all those. It's also about 97% accurate. Oil is my favorite sector of all possible sectors. Oil is absolutely beautiful uh, because it's uh, very cyclical and because it's commodity, you know, commodity, price of commodity is never going to go to zero. The price of a company very well could go to zero, but a commodity like oil or gold uh, is not. It's always going to have some value. So Short, long, short, long. And the trades on oil trend tend to be longer in length, but also much more profitable. 95% uh, win rate on oil. Gold, uh, which is represented by the GLD sector, we turned $10,000 into nearly $500,000. Uh, you can see the trades there. Uh, semiconductors, we turned $10,000. Uh, if we would have placed $10,000 into the semiconductors, we would have turned $10,000 into nearly $3.1 Short, long, short, long, short, long. Very, uh, very trending trades on semiconductors. We can get trades that last eight or nine months at a time on semiconductors. Get big run run ups like this that we see right there. 
Uh, real estate would turn $10,000 in this example into nearly 1.2 million. Same thing, real estate is very trendy. By trendy, I mean it has trends that last a long period of time. Real estate is about a 96% uh, accurate. Materials returned $10,000 into 1.7 million, right? So that's all fine and good. Here's our exact uh, trades uh, going all the way back in time on oil. You can see just kind of representative how, how they look, trade profit or loss. You know, we had, you know, 28% gain, 15% gain, 48% gain, 30% gain, right? Uh, but, you know, even in this, since we've been live, you know, so not all the big trades are in the past. Uh, we recently closed out uh, a 48% gain on, on oil that uh, occurred from last June till about uh, December of this year, December, January of this year. So it kind of shows you exactly where we're at. You know, and oil is our most profitable sector, 970% net return before compounding. Best trade, 216% in 131 days. Worst trade, negative 16% in 50 days. So overall, hypothetically using those numbers, we would have turned $90,000 into 24.5 million with compounding, which is a 27,000% return or 273X on capital. $90,000 would have turned into nearly $600,000 with zero compounding. That's taking all the profits off the table, investing uh, $10,000 into each trade and taking the profits off the table. Okay. And again, we also also showed you the non-hypothetical. These are the actual trades, trades generated by the system in the last year on the queues. And what does that mean for me? Well, okay. What do I have to consider when designing a trading system? Uh, where do these trades come from? All right. A lot of questions. So we've kind of painted a picture of the type of trades that we're generating. Now let's dig into the nitty gritty of how they're actually generated. We'll show you the, the brokerage statement proof. We'll go through uh, the frequently asked questions. We'll answer any questions that you have, of course. Okay. So by definition, technical analysis is 50 years of traders arguing about stuff that works sometimes. So if you go to Amazon and type in technical analysis, you're going to come back with over 50,000 results. So I'm going to give you a controversial statement as it applies to technical analysis. And the, the granddaddy of all technical analysis is going to be the moving average, right? Uh, you can't go 10 minutes uh, watching CNBC or one of those financial talk shows of somebody talking about a 200 day exponential moving average or, uh, you know, the some type of golden cross or, or, or things that they come up with where different uh, periods of moving averages cross other periods of different moving averages. But in my opinion, controversial statement, moving averages suck. Here's why. Technical, technical analysis by itself doesn't do it. Let's face it. We really only have three basic elements to work with, and everyone is looking at exactly the same data. Of those, we have price, time, and volume. Would you dare venture a guess? As we speak of indicators, what is the least studied of these three factors? What do most indicators leave out? And what do most indicators concentrate on? Anybody have a guess? Well, quite simply, most indicators in some way factor in price and factor in time, and they forget all about volume. So even if I go to Investopedia and take a look at, let's see how many different technical indicators there are, there's no shortage of technical technical indicators. You know, you got your disparity index, the Elder Ray index, the Jennifer Lopez, uh, the red, that is a real indicator on there, the Turtle Channel, and it just goes on and on and on, right? So it's not that we're missing a technical indicator. It's not that we we need just another technical indicator to tell us. Uh, the same thing that we've already been told. But the problem is, is everyone scrambles to put their name on a proprietary indicator that attempts to manipulate those three core elements in a slightly unique way to produce a different result. The basic failure of all of these is that they almost all use moving averages. So you're going to see standard deviations and call them Bollinger Bands. You're going to see MACD, stochastics, wild, wildest parabolics, triple smooth exponentials, Aroons, Keltner channels. But even someone who's brand new to trading knows that moving averages are a big time gotcha. If they're too short, you get whipsawed. If they're too long, you get left in the dust, missing those big market turns. 
So for the last 15 years, I've avoided moving averages like the plague just for that reason. Sure, I still look at stochastics, my own secret sauce, a 533, three, but only when I'm watching for a trend change and I want uh, confirmation. I don't even use candlesticks anymore. Um, and that's kind of sad because I even I studied them for over a year pretty intently. I try to look for those areas that are not being monitored by other folks because that is, for me, what makes all the difference. I don't want to run with the pack because the pack is invariably wrong in anything related to trading. Okay, so what are we about? <laughs> what is this ETF tipping point? Kurt, will you just tell me what it is? All right, well, in 1963, an infamous trader by the name of Joe Granville. And if anybody knows the story of Joe Granville, you know why I say the phrase infamous because he had his ups and downs. But in 1963, he came out with his book, New Key to Stock Market Profits. And in that book, he revealed his new theory of on balance volume. Okay, so on balance volume is the rudimentary, is kind of like the arithmetic, and our ETF tipping point is now the calculus. But the basic idea, the basic element has stayed the same. The basic element is this. A change in volume is always going to change, is always going to precede a change in price. Positive or negative. Positive or negative uh, change in volume is going to precede a positive or negative change in price. So the indicator as developed by Joe Granville is called what was called OBV, on balance volume. It was quite a simple indicator. It added a period's volume when it closes up. Subtract the period's volume when it closes down. The cumulative total of the volume additions and subtractions formed what he called the OBV line. So that line was then compared with the price chart uh, to look for divergency, divergences or confirmation. So let's think about this. Do you remember when I said that OBV was developed? What year was that? 1963. Can anyone think of any improvements potentially to computing power that have happened since then? from 1963 to 2018, 2019, where we're at right now. Yeah, pretty massive. For example, here's a chart that shows the exponential growth of computing power. If we were to look right about here, this is 1963, and right here is where we're at. Now this is even on a log chart, logarithmic chart. And so basically we're at the, uh, what is that? Computing power is about surpassing um, the calculations per second in 1963 was about 0 0.0001 in terms of, of the amount of brain power. And now it's at a factor of about uh, a trillion times that, <laughs> right? this difference in computing power from 1963 to now. So here's what we do. In 1963, OBV was a fantastic idea. And what they did is they calculated it by hand, painstakingly, every single day. At the end of the day, that's all that they did. And it worked. Here's what we do now. Uh, with the ETF tipping point, we've We've made this for the computer age. We've updated this. We've been working on this tirelessly since 2011. Uh, by my last calculation, I've spent over $175,000 in programming fees, uh, not to mention my own time and uh, stress and middle of the night ideas, right? But what we do is we look at every single stock transaction individually that makes up the basket of that ETF. That means for something like the S&P 500, we keep a running total throughout the day as to whether there's more buying than selling going on on every single trade, tick by tick. So my big question for you is, how is that possible? How would we be able to tell whether there's more buying pressure or selling pressure on every single trade, tick by tick? So while you noodle that, now remember, we're talking about the S&P 500 companies. You know, everything from Alphabet, Baker Hughes, Berkshire Hathaway, Citrix. You know, these are companies that trade, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of shares a day individually. And we're tracking every single one of the 500, every single trade on every single uh, one of all 500 of them. So what are we doing? What would we be looking for? What would appear in the data that would let us know if there's more buying or selling pressure on a single transaction. Anybody have any ideas? Go ahead and type them in. 
we'll give you uh, like five seconds. Why would there, how can we tell from the ticker data whether there's more buying pressure or selling pressure on every single transaction tick by tick? Quite simply, we look at the bid ask spread at that exact instant when the trade was executed. Now the bid is the price a buyer is willing to pay for a stock, okay? The spread is the difference between the highest ask and the highest bid. The ask is the price a seller is willing to sell their shares for. So the difference between the ask and the bid is the bid ask spread. So we evaluate the bid price and the ask price of the trade. And if the sale went off closer to the ask price, then the seller's willing to hold out, right? Hold on to their shares, get a couple extra pennies. They're willing to hold out for a higher price and their buyers were willing to move up and pay a couple extra pennies to ensure that they got those shares. Conversely, if the sale went off at the bid price, who moved their prices down? Well, it was the seller who willing to move their prices down toward the buyers who were then in control, able to force the hand of the sellers to reduce their price the exact millisecond that that trade is executed, we're evaluating whether that trade went off closer to the bid price or closer to the ask price of, the, of that exact millisecond. So then that establishes either a positive or negative tick volume, which like Joe Granville's original OBV indicator, allows us to set up with a great confidence and more precise measure of where the real power is all day long, with the buyers or with the sellers. Now, at the end of the day, we can look at a losing day, but we know that the on balance or the ETF tipping point, it was actually bullish or bearish move for the majority of the stock, regardless of what the price currently shows. At that point, we simply do a cumulative summation for the next 13 sessions. At the end of that time, now we have a pretty good idea of what percentage of stocks are advancing on hidden power or failing despite rising prices. At the end of the day, we know out of 500 stocks in S&P 500, how many are positive footing, greater than 50% with more real accumulation, how many are in negative stance. Using this ETF tipping, point, ETF tipping point line, we end up with a high confidence level of the trend in play or trend in player in flux. I'm happy to reap the rewards of the product, whatever it's called. Notice that this is all done without the use of a moving average or any commonly available technical indicator. We're not using any one of those 3,000 gazillion technical indicators that appear for free in every trading platform known to man. Why is that? Because anything that's available for free is already implemented into the pricing of the market. It's already used. So seeing as we've, we've been collecting this information over the prior 13 trading days, we also know where each company within the ETF sits in terms of a positive or negative trend. When it switches from positive to negative balance, more than 50% on a negative trend, we then have a sell signal for that ETF and vice versa. So let's walk through the process in three simple steps. So at this point, I am going to assume that you've decided to forego the development of your own tick by tick collection platform to replicate exactly what we've done and you're gonna use our signals. Uh, if not, feel free. It did take us a couple years to get this figured out from about 2008 to 2010. Um, ongoing data costs of over a thousand bucks a month and well over $175,000 in programming fees over the years. But some folks just like to do it for themselves and, that, and that's fine. Um, what we do is we send out our signals notification on a weekly basis. They come out after 12.30 p.m. Pacific or 3.30 p.m. Eastern on Fridays. You can trade the next day the market opens, Monday, if you can't see the trade or, or make the trade during, during Friday afternoons, perfectly fine. Then you're then you have the opportunity to either buy or short the one times e, the one X ETF, and we'll have to go through some explanations here in a second. Or you can buy the two X ETF, or the two X inverse ETF, or buy calls or puts on the one X ETF, or buy calls or puts on the two X ETF. Quite simply, we give you a minimum of four different ways to trade these signals. Let's take a look at our freshest signal and kind of see exactly what we're talking about. So our freshest signal is this one, about eight days ago on the queues. So on the queues eight days ago, we went bearish. So our options on that day, if we wanted to simply trade the single ETFs, we would, we would have shorted the queues, QQQ. We would have gone short on the QQQ. But what if we wanted to trade the double ETFs? Well, what are the double ETFs? The double ETFs are designed uh, to provide uh, 
double the daily move of that individual index. So for example, if the Qs goes up 1% in a day, uh, the QLD, which is the bullish ETF, bear, the bullish 2X ETF is designed to go up 2%, okay? If the, the market goes down 1%, well, the bearish ETF is designed to go down 2%, okay? So we give you the exact list of those 2X ETFs we also give you the current trading action if you so desire to use the 2x ETFs. Now, remember, all of our results, everything is based on trading the single ETF. So when we show you these results here, up 1%, down three quarters of a percent, up 12%, all those results you see there in, the, in that uh, right green and, and red column, that's based on the single ETF. If you use the double ETFs, the results are going to be approximately, just like it says, approximately double. But, you know, don't quote us on that because we don't control that. We're, we're basing the signals entirely on the single ETFs. Of course, also, like we've talked about, you can also trade the options. We provide the options for you as well. So on this Q's trade, your choices are you could have shorted the Q's. You could have bought the QID. You could have bought this put on the Q's or you could have bought this call on the QID. So four different ways to trade exactly the same signal. So then we just hold those positions until you receive a signal to reverse or rarely go to cash and we re-enter re the trade the next week. An ETF is either bullish or bearish in the system at all times. We try to be in the market at all times. If, you are comf if you're only comfortable playing to the upside, then only trade when bullish and go to cash for that ETF when they are bearish. Every Friday around 12.30 p.m. Pacific, we'll send out an email as to where the status, where we believe the signals will be by the end of the trading day. This is done by posting our membership area and by email. Then simply do it again a couple hundred more times, <laughs> right? We've done it at least 624 times the past 12 years for an average of 5.2 trades per month. Not a lot of trades. That's where we get the 15 minutes a week. That's all we're asking. So here's the hidden secret. You need to find a system that has a positive expectation, read it makes money in the long run, and compound the heck out of it. That's where the real secret sauce comes in in the system. We give you many, many, many more opportunities to compound than almost any other way, other way of trading that you're going to come up with. Because what happens on this Q's trade is we bought the QID. Well, what happens if that trade goes up 5% and then closes out and switches back to the bullish direction and we need to buy the QLD? Well, we get rid of all the shares of the QID we have. So now we have uh, whatever we started with plus 5%. We put that in the, the bullish direction. What if it goes up 3%, right? And then we're flip-flopping the money back and forth between the 2X ETFs benefiting from the frequent compounding periods because the average trade lasts 30 to 45 days, right? Huge, huge, huge advantage. So as you know, as we've talked about, my, we've already talked about my investing goals. Let's talk a little bit about my life goals. Well, my life goal is to start with the end in mind. Uh, my goal isn't to be a corporate drone and be one of those guys who works nine to five uh, until I'm 65 years old and they give me uh, a gold watch. I never want to let my money pursuits take precedence over my real life. And this is all going to make sense here in a couple minutes when I talk about how you can become involved in my ETF tipping point system and one of the bonuses that we're going to offer you as well. You know, because quite frankly, I'm from a small dairy farming town in Preston, Idaho. If you ever saw the 2004 movie Napoleon Dynamite, you've actually seen my hometown. My cousins are actually credited extras in that movie. So, you know, I grew up raising cows, dairy farming, hauling hay in the summer, moving sprinkler pipe, all that kind of stuff. This is a shot of, uh, of my, my family ranch going back into the late 1800s. So, you know, for me, it's all about time and financial freedom. I never want to have anything like this where I'm chained to a desk. I have to be anywhere at a specific time, a specific place. You know, if you're anything like me, your family and friends mean everything to you. This is my wife and my three kids. Uh, I enjoy all things outdoors. This is uh, within an hour of my house. This is the mountains of North Idaho, or this is uh, boning at my favorite lake, Spirit Lake, Idaho, with my with my boys. 
or just a lazy summer afternoon out there. Uh, I love to travel the world. This is an exploding volcano in near Antigua, Guatemala. This is Tikal, Guatemala, Samuk Champe, uh, the Inca Trail in Peru, hiking into Machu Picchu with my son, uh, Chichen Itza in Mexico, surfing in Costa Rica, rappelling in South Africa, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, you know, but it's not all fun, <laughs> fun and games. I've also speak at financial seminars around the world. This is the financial marketing summit this past fall in the, in London, UK. Uh, and you know, of course I took some time out to, to go to the, to the crazy mineral bass in right in the middle of Budapest, Hungary, took my wife along. And, uh, this is on the Danube in, uh, in Vienna. So this is the list of countries I've been to. The ones in red are the ones I've been to. The ones in gray are the ones that I want to go to. So that's what I'm all about. Uh, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a normal uh, guy that wants to, to, to work a nine to five. I want to create freedom in my life with my trading that allows not only myself, but to share with my customers these exact same things, this opportunity to travel, this opportunity to spend time how you want to spend it. So there is the usual legal stuff our attorneys make us say. Financial markets are risky. Investing is risky. Past performance does not guarantee future performance. All that said, who might be interested? In? I'm going to show you a picture here. Uh, what, is this, what does this mean? What, are, what do you see here on the screen? Who might be interested? And in, uh, what does this picture on the screen have to do with what we're talking about right now? I'll give you about three seconds. Three, two... I had a couple of people say pile of beans. Yep, you're exactly right. Hill of beans. That's what the information I presented to you tonight amounts to if you don't take action. I'm going to make it so easy for you to take action. There's absolutely no reason that you should walk away from this webinar without taking action. Here's why. Like I mentioned, um, you know, I did not grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. I want to make sure that I have give these same opportunities that were made available to me, uh, to everyone I come in contact with. Uh, and, and also without making it salesy and without making, you know, uh, without, without making it difficult and without making it super expensive. So here's my offer to coach 25 of you and exactly how to do this. There's two program options. The first option is $997 for six months access. Or the second option is $2,997 for three years access. Now, if you go with the three-year program, of course, that is a 50% discount off of paying for it, a uh, thousand bucks every six months. If you go for the three-year program, we also do give you my $500 weekly option science program that we sell every day for $500. You get that for free. We also give you my $5,000 advanced options workshop. Uh, you get the recordings of that. We also give you um, we also give you personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. You get my personal cell phone number. You can contact me anytime uh, by text or phone and answer any trading questions you have related to ETF tipping point. So basically I'm giving you not only the access to the system and the system trades, but unlimited personal consulting with me as it relates to this system. Just to put this in perspective, the last time I did consulting, I charged $2,500 an hour and I do it all the time at $2,500 an hour. Uh, I, I get that day in and day out. If I wanted to, uh, I routinely tur turn it down just because I don't have the time. I'd, I'd rather spend it developing stuff and working with my existing customers. But that's what you get if you join with us at the 2997 level. If you join with us at the $997 level, you can always upgrade. Uh, we're not going to penalize anyone for, uh, and we're not going to try to make the choice harder than, than it has to be. Uh, all things equal, if you want to just go ahead and get on board, you can join with us for six months, and you can upgrade at any time with no penalty by just paying the difference. I hate overhead. When I talk about overhead, uh, you know, I could get some fancy marketing, hire some full-time sales guys, but that's just not me. This is my office, you know, right here. Uh, you know, if you if you were in this particular office and walked down this hallway right there, that's that's where I'm at right now. Uh, in this particular office in beautiful Spokane Valley, Washington, 2426 South Dishman Micah, suite number five. Drop on by at any time. We're not some fly by night organization that uh, fears seeing their customers. We relish the opportunity to meet with you in person. If you happen to be in the area, we'd love to to, to go to lunch with you and talk trading. 
uh, it's one of the the highlights of, of of my week is when that happens when we get uh, customers that that are close to us live in town or sometimes people will drive over from Seattle or things like that perfectly fine um, you know and we've been around and we'll be around uh, on Better Business Bureau the Scientific Marketing LLC is our uh, LLC you can see that we've been tracked by the Better Business Bureau for 15 years. And we have an A plus rating with the BBB. This business has zero complaints. Um, not only that, we're probably the only people that you're ever going to find that actually publish live, actual, factual brokerage statements. This is the brokerage statements that showing exactly what we're talking about. So um, we showed you some of the hypothetical results of the system going back in time. And you'll remember that we talked about since last year, we have published a model portfolio. So the model portfolio is pretty simple. We, we started with $10,000 into each sector. We invested into the, the double ETFs and we switched the money back and forth as we recommend. Uh, and here's the results since last year. So we turned that about $90,000 into about $112,000 in eight months, which is a 24% gain or 3% a month. And you can see right here, here's some of the actual positions. And those are fully backed by brokerage statement proof. You know, th this is in the trading platform, but obviously it's also backed by trade confirmations and all that kind of stuff. There's absolutely nobody on the planet who does this. If you can find anybody on the planet that combines what we're giving you with proof that it works, uh, I will gladly pay you $5,000. Just show me exactly someone that does, offers the same type of money back guarantee that we do, offers brokerage statement proofs, and it works, uh, you know, I, I'd love to see it. So instead of dealing with some fancy big wigs and hedge fund managers, I'd rather enjoy my free time to just deal with just a few customers. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is on this. I'm going to take the majority of the risk. Okay, so not only am I going to give you the exact trades, I'm going to show you brokerage statement proof that it works, but I am also going to give you an ironclad two-part performance guarantee. Part one's pretty simple. Go through the entire training. It'll take you about 46 hours to, to go through the training on the website once you get your uh, membership and login, which is immediate as, as, soon, as soon as you sign up. You go through the entire training, start trading live or in demo mode. By demo mode, I, it, 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 that's some places call it paper money, demo mode, uh, a demo account. That means you can make trades, but you have no real money associated with it. Uh, it's basically, it's the modern day equivalent of paper training. And if you don't love it, get a complete refund anytime within 90 days, simply submit your trading log and we'll issue a prompt refund. I don't think we can be much more fair than that. All we're saying is you got to go through the training, place the trades either with real money, which is fine, or with fake money in a timestamp, you know, demo mode account. And if you don't like the results, I can't tell you what, what, what's going to make you like the results. I, that's, that's up to you. If you don't love the results, anytime within 90 days, get a complete refund. Simply submit your trading log of the trades that you've made in a timely fashion as they came up while you're a member and we'll issue a prompt refund. Part number two, learn the system. Use it for a full six months. Execute all the trades as they come up. And if you don't at least make the system investment back, $997 for the six-month option in profit. I'll personally work with you for free until you do, okay? That's the same offer that I make for the people who join with us at the, the upper level of $2,997. I work with, them for, work with them on limited amount. I'll work with you for free, even if you join at the lower $997 amount, if you don't make a profit in your six months, and we'll make sure you get back on track and, and generate the profits. So either way you love it, make good money with it, or you hate it and you get your money back. I don't think we can be much more fair than that, right? Uh, on your side, you, you got to put in the work. You got to go through the training and you got to make the trades. You don't have to risk it even a dime to do that though, okay? And we're going to give you some bonuses for the first 25 signups. Like we've talked about, I love my free time. I love the ability to get away from it all. I love the ability to have a little bit time apart from the normal mundane drudgery. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a free five-night vacation hotel stay in Mexico. It can either be in Cancun, Puerto Penasco, Mazatlan, Acapulco, or Puerto Vallarta in Thailand or in Spain. 
or a three-night stay in places like Las Vegas, Branson, or Williamsburg, that's about a $1,500 value. All you pay is the resort fee and taxes, which comes to about 15 to 20 bucks a day, and no timeshare pitch. This will give you an opportunity to get away. Uh, if you so choose, you could get away, catch up on your trading education. You could uh, watch the ETF tipping point videos. You could go through, you know, catch up on um, the past, uh, past uh, literary uh, works that you'd like to get to. Whatever you want, it's on us. You can even go on that trip, go through your 90 days and not be happy get a full refund and you keep everything obviously as, as, as a thank you for giving us a try. Also, the second huge bonus is we do a two day virtual workshop about every six months. The next one is going to come up in the fall of 2019. It's two days. You stay at home. I stay in my home. We put on a virtual workshop using go to webinar and uh, you, you get to attend that you get recordings of all the, all the sessions and uh, it's, it's an awesome opportunity to get tons of learning, training, and education in. Uh, with the added benefit, it's even better than an in-person workshop because you can see my screen, every single thing that I do. Plus, if you miss something, you can always go back and watch the recording. So you get a 10 from your own home free through your computer. That's about a $2,000 value. You get that. That's coming up in the fall of 2019. Also, you get our live monthly customer support webinars. They're on the fourth Monday of every month where we give you a recap of our exact current positions. Okay. And so that allows you to ask an unlimited amount of questions on those webinars as well. We'll, we'll stay on as long as anybody has questions. So just to kind of put it in perspective, what we're talking about when it comes to the vacation, um, these are resorts that are all over Mexico that we've hooked up a special deal with to, to give away these certificates. Um, you know, I, I've done it. I did the one in Cancun, fantastic, fantastic place. And it was exactly as represented about 20 bucks uh, a night. Uh, no timeshare pitch required or anything like that. And that's just our additional, you know, sweet in the pot type of bonus. So here's how you can order to claim one of the 25 spots. Here's what you need to do right now. You can either call our secure voicemail line at 509-720-7867 and leave a detailed message along with your full name and address, phone, email, and credit card number with expiration, along of which choice of which package you'd like, either the 997 or the 2997. And we'll return your call ASAP to confirm and process your order and answer any remaining questions. Or you can order online by going to etftippingpoint.com slash six month or etftippingpoint.com slash three year. Like we mentioned, we're only going to offer this to the first 25 spots. By the first 25 spots, I mean the vacation bonus, the virtual workshop bonus, the month monthly customer support webinar bonus, and the additional, the, the guarantee. So uh, as we go here, we'll probably have some of our, uh, we'll probably be able to count exactly how many spots we have left. So frankly, folks, you have nothing to lose and years of profitable base hit trading to gain. So again, here's a live visual look at our current trades. Uh, is this representative of you know how it's always going to be? No, of course, we're going to have losing trades. Losing trades happen. Anybody who says that they, they never have a losing trade is full of it. The more important thing is that you have a positive expectation that on average, trades make money and you can compound that over time. Uh, like we mentioned, our my best and favorite sector is probably this oil sector right here. So not only do I trade this oil sector using the two times ETFs in my own personal account, but I also trade the, the options on oil. And I do all some, some other crazy stuff that we'll talk about in more advanced strategies. Uh, for monthly and weekly income, I sell option premium uh, away from the direction of the current market and just collect, that, collect that, those, those funds. Okay, so there's tons of different ways to trade this, but the most important thing is you just get started. Okay, so again, show you the number on the screen. To claim one of the 25 spots, either call 509-720-7867 and leave a detailed message or order online at etftippingpoint.com slash six month or etftippingpoint.com slash three year. Okay, so... We go, let's get to our frequently asked questions. And this is the time. If you have questions, ask them in the frequently asked questions area. Be happy to answer any question you have. 
So what about Brexit, the flash crash of 2010, the recession of 2008? Uh, you know, what happens in those situations with the market meltdown? What kind of experience do I need to start? Uh, can I trade in an IRA or 401k? How much startup capital is needed? Uh, why aren't you retired on a tropical island somewhere? That's my personal favorite. I love that question. Why are you selling the system to us? My second favorite question. And how many versions has the system gone through? Well, let's just start at the top. In 2008, when the market melted down, uh, if we go back and look at the actual trades that we that, that we generated, we were actually bearish from 613 2008 till the end of that year. If you look at on the SPY, we would have been up 56.2% on that exact trade. So that's the huge advantage of not just trading long, not just trading for the market to go to the moon, not just trading for the market to go up in an infinite fashion, but take advantage of market direction when the market sells off. This system makes more money in bear markets than any other market. This system is actually a bear system. It works the best in bear markets because markets collapse a lot faster than they rise. We do, we do fine in, in bull markets like we're in right now. Uh, kind of our nemesis, the markets we don't like, is sideways markets. Because you know, we're trying to pick, pick a position long or short. If the market trades sideways, nothing much happens. What about the flash crash, May 6, 2010? Uh, wow, that's nine years ago. It seems like just yesterday. But uh, we're actually short that day as well on the SPY. We would have been, if it, it would have been turned into anything substantial, which it wasn't, uh, it ended up being, a, we were up about 11% on that trade. What about the SPY trades during Brexit, June 23rd, 2016? Same situation. We were already short. There was already something in the market indicating this to, the, to us that we should be short, this ETF tipping point signal. What kind of experience do you need? Really, you just need a desire to learn, a basic trading account and software, and a commitment to make the trades. Uh, can I trade in an IRA or 401k? Absolutely. There are going to be some limitations to trading in, in uh, retirement accounts in that you can't short uh, securities. You're going to have to either trade the double ETFs or uh, use a couple of the workarounds we have for that, which is perfectly fine. How much startup capital is needed? We recommend at least $500 per sector or $4,500 to trade all nine sectors. With less capital than that, we would recommend just trade fewer sectors until you build up the account. And this one, the big question, Kurt, why aren't you retired on a tropical island somewhere? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's say that I did have a thousand students, which I don't. And they were all, you know, gazillionaires and they all had, you know, had tons of money to invest in these types of positions. So I, even, let's say I had a thousand students and they each had $900,000 that they're investing in the system, which we know is ludicrous. And most people have less than that. And I have less than a thousand students. But let's say that, you know, let's be crazy. Well, even if they had a hundred thousand each invested in the spy, that's 469,000 shares at 213 bucks a share, which would be one half of 1% of the total shares traded. And like we've mentioned, I have nowhere even close to that or nowhere with people to those sorts of funds. So even if I did, it'd be a, just a minor microscopic amount of the market. So why are you selling the system to us? Well, that's actually a great question. Let's think about it. Let's see today. Uh, today to tomorrow, would there be any faster way for me to grow my own trading account between today and tomorrow than to make a frequent deposit to further the compounding? Let's say, like, for example, today, let's say we sell 25 students at $997 and I take all those funds and put them in my trading account. That's $24,926 in additional capital that doesn't affect anything that I'm doing because we're talking about massive ETFs. These aren't you know, small, obscure penny stocks that we're going to move the market in, right? There's no reason I wouldn't. So how many versions has the system gone through? We're currently on version four. Uh, on version three and prior, which we refer to as our legacy uh, system, we averaged about 3.41% with live trades delivered in real time. Version four looks to be leaps and bounds above that, uh, specifically in win rate, and those results are marked as back-tested until we started, uh, like we mentioned, Last year, we started the, the model portfolio. So do you offer money back guarantee? Absolutely. Part one, go through the entire training, start trading live. If you don't love it, 
get a complete refund anytime within 90 days. Simply submit your trading log and we'll issue a prompt refund. Part two, learn the system, use it for a full six months, executing all the trades as they come up. If you don't at least make the system investment back, $997 in profit, I'll personally work with you for free until you do. Again, these are the types of trades that we're looking at. Uh, this, this little chart right here is gonna become your best friend. Uh, you're going to look at this chart every day and especially on Friday to, to see when, when uh, changes are made. Okay, to claim one of the 25 spots, call the secure voicemail line 509-720-7867. Leave a detailed message along with your full name and address, phone, email, and credit card number, along with choice of which of the, the packages you'd like. And we'll return your call ASAP to confirm and process your order or order online etftippingpoint.com slash six month or etftippingpoint.com slash three years. So give me a minute. Let me check exactly where we're at on our orders. And I'll be able to tell you that here in just a second. Let me check over here real quick. Okay, I'm just checking through the order, see how many we had come in. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, now I need to log into the voicemail to see. I'm, this is not going to be exactly scientifically accurate because somebody could have called the voicemail line and it's not an actual order, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, this is for the, the bonuses. Okay. So, roughly, looks like we have about nine spots of those 25 spots left, according to my best guess. Okay, so that said, uh, please go ahead and process your order now. There's absolutely no reason that you wouldn't give this a shot. Like we mentioned, there's absolutely no way that you can lose with our double money back guarantee. If you're willing to go through the training, place the trades at least in demo mode without risking a dime, uh, you can prove it to yourself that this works. Okay, so claim one of 25 spots. Call a secure voicemail number 509-720-7867 or go online etftippingpoint.com slash six month or etftippingpoint.com slash three year. All right, so let's give you a little bit of proof from current members just like you. Hi, my name is Simon Sumo from London, UK. And I have to tell you, I was blown away by how easy the ETF tipping point system is to use. I used to day trade and sometimes did great, other times not so great. I've been trading for about 10 years on and off, and nothing compares how easy this system is to use. What is even really great is that the system requires very little time to monitor. It is all there. Most days, I don't need to do anything. And those days that I do need to make a change, it takes 5 to 10 minutes tops. I must admit, I'm only into my second month, and the count is positive and beginning to grow. Look, if you're new to trading, you can even start with paper trading account and then switch over to a live account. The point is this system is like no other and everything is transparent and you can even see the trades going back several years. The step-by-step -step training is simple to follow, even if you have not done this way of trading before. Gertie is a great teacher and explains everything in an easy way so you can understand. As I said, once you set everything up, it requires very little management, so you can get on with your life. I'm super excited for the future. In closing, I'd just like to say I highly recommend this way of trading to anyone using the ETF tipping point system. This is Saul Sumon, signing out. Hey, Kurt, what's going on, man? It's Andy Hussong, and I just wanted to say that, you know, first of all, I'm pretty disappointed in the fact that I didn't take your advice back in October of 2018. Um, I know you had mentioned in the ETF uh, tipping point uh, that, uh, that it, everything was looking bearish, and I didn't jump on it at the time. And what I found was uh, very quickly <laughs> things started to tank. You know, and, and again, this is just a couple months ago. I'm recording this in December two, 2018, and uh, because I didn't follow your advice, I know I've I probably lost out on 25% gains at least. Um, it's just one of those situations where I didn't jump when you said to. I got busy, didn't take your advice, but I got to tell you, the ETF tipping point system 
is the way to go. Um, I've been following your system for quite a while and um, uh, had some pretty nice gains over the course of time that I've used it. Uh, this was one of those instances I didn't jump on board. And man, I am going to pay a lot closer attention to the recommendations you make through the ETF system that you guys have been rolling with for the last few years. I highly recommend anybody else who's considering doing so to do the same thing and to make sure you take action on Kurt's advice. Man, you're, you're the man. I really appreciate everything you do for us. My name is Dean Hamill. I live close to the city of Florence in Oregon. I've been trading using the ETF tipping point strategy for about eight months, and I am more than satisfied with the results, some of which I'll share with you in a moment. Over the years, I've tried many investment advisory services, newsletters, and tried many different investment strategies. The results with all of them have been less than stellar. For years, I've been looking for a strategy that is easy to follow, easy to execute, low risk, and of course, most important, significantly profitable. After my first few tipping point trades, I became convinced that this is what I had been looking for. Now I'm going to quickly recite for you just a few of the results of my early trades. Some of them are very impressive and some less so, but the overall result is very exciting and very profitable. I'll tell you first of all the percentage gain and then the number of days in the position. 9.49%, 64 days. 9.19%, 64 days. 10.51% in 54 days. 6.81%, 62 days. 4.41%, 63 days. 16.21% in only 36 days. Out of the 37 trades I've been doing, 32 were winners and only five were losers. This is a very impressive track record. Another feature I like about ETF Tipping Point is that it takes so little time. I just wait for the daily instruction. Most days, there's no change, and so there's nothing that I have to do. When a signal does come, it takes only a few minutes to execute, and then I'm done. My personal experience has convinced me, and I recommend ETF Tipping Point without reservation. Good. Uh, we're, I'm in my third month and uh, uh, with some nice profits. And uh, I'll, here I'll show you a list of the stocks that I'm trading. Uh, now, I'm not trading all the stocks right now uh, because I am also trading some of the um, uh, bonus trades. So uh, if I'm not trading them here in this list, it's because I either missed it, I didn't feel comfortable about it. Uh, but whatever reason, uh, I've got most of them here and you'll be able to see I'll show you the gains. Here we go. As you'll see, the, uh, the first one, QLD, of 13.89% uh, gain at 22.42. And right now it's live, so you're seeing the numbers actually move and change with gains. And as usual, you'll, you will have some losses in the red. Anyway, that's the uh, proof in the pudding right there. Um, so, so far, so good with what's going on and pretty happy to this point. Anyhow, thank you. Bye. All right, folks. So the thing to do right now is make sure you lock in one of those remaining spots. Last time I checked, we had nine, of course, like we mentioned, uh, to call our secure voicemail line at 509-720-7867 leave a detailed message along with your full name and address, phone, email, and credit card number with expiration, along with the choice of which of the two pack packages you'd like, either a $997 package or the $2,997 package. Return your call ASAP to confirm and process your order, answer any remaining questions, or order online, etftippingpoint.com slash six month or etftippingpoint.com slash three year.
Okay, thanks everyone for being on. Love to spend the time with you this evening. We're about uh, at 65 minutes total. So we crammed a lot of information in. I'm sure you took a ton of notes. Uh, hopefully you had a chance to go through the, uh, all the PDF handout, answer all the quizzes, and uh, participate with us as we went through. So thanks, everyone. We will see you inside the membership area very soon. Thank you.